This is the second time that I'm trying, sorry, the third time that I'm trying to record this video. I just want to talk about Coalition, Coalition 101, the basics. Here we go. Clicking here into Coalition, one of the first things that I want to point out is the Affairs Building and the Coalition Hall. These are the two important things that I'm going to be focusing on this video. So first, let's start with the Coalition Hall. When you enter Coalition Hall, if you look at the bottom left here, you'll see daily quests. That's something that you're going to want to be participating every day. As it says, it is a daily quest. Now, Coalition is a combination of three unions. And participating in the Coalition is much like participating in your daily union, where every day you want to go in and do your daily diamond donation and participate in voyages. However, in the Coalition, there are no voyages. Instead, there are daily quests, and you don't have to go in and do a daily diamond contribution. Your contribution in Coalition is measured by the union construction that you do, which those construction tools are acquired by completing the daily quests. So you can pretty much say that 90% of Coalition is really just doing daily quests, your daily quests, and helping others complete theirs. So, going into daily quests here, I've actually already done my quest for the day, but when you click here, you would see a little pop-up. It would tell you what your daily quest is, and it will either ask you to add a vizier, to add a consort, or it will tell you a specific task to do, such as visiting your consorts in the harem, doing masquerades, or various other things. Now, every once in a while, you may get a quest that does ask you to donate some diamonds. I noticed the quest typically asks for 50, so it's not too bad. Now, once you complete your daily quest for the day, you're going to go to the Affairs Hall, and on there you will see two things that you can choose from, which are the Quest Board, and then there is the My Quest. Now, on the Quest Board, you will see tasks pinned on the board from other Coalition members, and you will have an opportunity to assist them with completing these quests. For example, I have a quest here on the board right now, so I'm going to go ahead and click it. And actually, it says I do not have sufficient viziers to participate in this quest. Now, when you do the coalition quests, ones that ask for viziers and consorts, because there's so many coalition members and a lot of active players, you're going to try to want to limit the viziers you apply to the quest to just one, so that way everybody has a chance to participate and so that things like this don't happen. Like, for example, I've already used all of my military and political viziers, and so now I don't have any to contribute to this quest. That's something you kind of want to avoid. Now, when you go to the My Quest section, you will see a list of all of the quests that you have participated in that day. Once the quests are completed, they will turn green, and that little claim button will slide up for you to go ahead and click it so you can claim all your rewards for participating in that quest. I'll go ahead and do that now. And you do get some pretty good rewards from participating in quests. So I highly recommend coming on here as much as possible and making sure that you participate as much as possible. Now, different quests that you complete will provide you with some construction materials. So if we go back to Coalition Hall and then go down to Construction, you will see that there are three different areas where you can use your materials to help construct the Union. I will start down here in the Affairs Hall. And if you look down at the bottom there, you'll see how many materials that you currently have that you can use to help build up that particular section of the Union. For example, here it says that I have 20 construction materials that I can apply. And the same will apply for the other two areas. Now, each area does use different types of materials, so sometimes you will find that you'll have an excess of one material, maybe none of another, or only a little bit of another. That's normal, it just depends on what quest you participated in that day and which rewards you were given. And as you can see here, I have different amounts of materials for each section. So the last thing here in the Coalition Hall is the market. Now if you go to the market, you'll see that there are different things that you can purchase here. These tokens, you can see at the bottom right how many tokens you have. For example, right now I currently have 28, so not quite enough to buy anything here in the market, or at least not anything that I'm interested in buying. And those gold 
pieces here or tokens that you can use to purchase these materials are earned from you doing your daily quests. Now one last thing that I would like to point out is that depending on how many construction materials you apply in Union Construction Area, you will receive a score. Now the more materials that you dump at a time, the higher the score that you will receive, which is why a lot of us like to hold our materials until Sunday. The reason being is because Sunday at reset is when everything that you have applied to Union Construction resets and you will receive a score for the week based off of how much you contributed to the union. Depending on how high your contribution was, you'll be able to receive a different amount of rewards each day when you log into Coalition. So for that entire seven day period, you come into Coalition, you'll see down here at the bottom where it says what your contribution was. You have to at least reach 100 in order to receive at least one of the items from below. But each tier that you hit, you're able to receive more items from the bottom here. And they are some pretty great rewards, so you're definitely not going to want to miss out on that. And that pretty much sums up the basics here for Coalition. Um, it's pretty simple. Log in every day, do your quest, help others. Now you also notice here at the top there is a thing for Coalition War. Uh, Coalition War is extremely confusing and it does have a lot of moving parts to it, so I can talk about that in a later video if you would like. But hopefully this helps you navigate Coalition and you found this useful and have fun and help each other out.